Hey, happy readers! Welcome to Children's Books Read Aloud by Happy Cultivated. The best Easter egg hunt ever. Illustrated by Katie Hudson. Written by Don Casey. Click that subscribe button for more children's books. On a warm spring day in the tall green grass, a little gray rabbit was sniffing the air. <laughs> it was Easter Sunday. It was egg hunt time. Mother Rabbit said, There are lots of eggs to find. There are stripy eggs and spotted eggs, sky blue eggs, pale pink eggs, and eggs as bright as buttercups. I want a special egg, said Rabbit, and off she hopped to see what she could find. Down in the barnyard, Chick was hopping around a haystack. Please help me, Rabbit, he cheeped. I can't reach that egg. Rabbit hopped onto the haystack in one leap. Nestled in the hay was a sky blue Easter egg. I don't have much, said Chick, but I can give you some feathers to say thank you. Rabbit tucked the feathers into her basket and off she hopped. Over in the meadow, Butterfly had found a tiny egg as bright as a buttercup. The flowers waved in the breeze, and the air was full of bees. Rabbit hopped with happiness. She followed a buzzing bee and nibbled a yellow green leaf. She picked a bunch of spring flowers. Oh, Rabbit laughed. I almost forgot about finding an egg. And off she hopped. Up on the hillside, lambs bounced and bounded. Rabbit looked for an egg in the treetops and in the hedges. She found some scraps of sheep's wool stuck in the brambles, but she didn't find a single egg. So off she hopped. In the sunlit woodland, Rabbit heard a squeak. I can't dig up this egg, said Mouse. I'll help, said Rabbit. I can dig. Scrape, scratch, dig, burrow. Wow, breathed Mouse, looking at the giant egg. It's bigger than our whole mouse hole. And Mouse gave Rabbit some tasty grass to say thank you. Rabbit's ears drooped. Mouse found a very special egg, she sighed but I haven't found any eggs. Rabbit didn't feel like hopping anymore. She sat down by the duck pond. And there, by the water's edge, was an egg. But it wasn't big or bright, spotted or stripy, pink or blue or yellow. It was small and dull and white. It doesn't look very special, said Rabbit. Rabbit touched the egg with her paw. Oh, she whispered, it's warm. A cold breeze blew. Rabbit shivered. Don't worry, little egg, she said. I'll keep you warm. And Rabbit emptied out her basket. She took the stalks of grass and the sweet flowers and wove them together. She shaped a little cup. She lined it with warm wool and soft feathers. She made a nest. And when the egg was safe and warm, Rabbit curled up close by. She was tired after her long day. Soon, 
she was fast asleep. Peep, peep. What was that noise? Peep, peep. It was coming from inside the egg. The egg wobbled and rocked in the nest, and all the time it went peep, 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 until crick. Out came a beak, and crack. Out came a duckling. Quack, quack. Mother duck swam to shore. Oh, thank you, she said. My egg. I've been looking for it all day. Rabbit smiled. I'm glad I found this egg, she said. It was the most wonderful Easter egg of all. Thanks for reading with Happy Cultivated. Please like this video and subscribe to our channel. Click the bell next to the subscribe button to be notified when we post new books. Thanks for watching. Happy reading.